in this video we will look into the concept of equality constraint so let's first of all go to architectural tab and just simply click on this drop down and from there i'm going to choose a column architecture so now you can see that we are at the ground floor and we will go up to height and this one is a first floor uh, but if you look you see that we have only these three options uh, i just want a different column so then in that case i have to go to contextual tab and here i have to go to load family and from there i am going to load my columns so if i just go back uh, you will see that you have a different folder so you have to go to column because we are looking for columns so just simply double click on that and as of now i am going to use this column metal clad which is this one you can see and then i will just simply hit o open after clicking on that you will get this so now let's place our column so i have placed that column now what i will do is i will uh, make changes in the dimensions so let me just press escape and select this column if you look at the distance so you can see that this one is showing me distance from this center to that but i want to make change this from this uh, this face of the wall to this center so in that case i just simply need to click and grip this one and here i am going to enter 1000 all the details are provided in the pdf and from this face to this face the distance is also 1000 okay okay this let me delete this okay so now if you click on that you see the distance from this face to this center is 1000 and from this face to this center is 1000 so in this direction we have four columns so i will just simply copy that simply type co and you can see that i am getting this vertical line if you just simply take your mouse cursor below that you will get this horizontal line so as of now i'm going to copy this by by this vertical line just simply click on that so i have a cop mm, I, I created a copy of uh, three more columns now if you look at this last column uh, let's do the modification here the distance from this face to this center this center is uh, 1000 so i will just simply click and grip this one okay 1000 so uh, this one is exactly 1000 and from the distance from this center to this face is 1000 so i'm simply going to click on this and adjust this like this and i'm going to make this one 1000 now i i know what exactly the distance uh, what exactly the location of this column and this column but i don't know the location of these two columns so i'm going to make these two columns equally spaced so in that case we are going to use the equality constraint so to do that you just simply need to go to this one is align dimension in the quick panel quick access panel and you can just simply click on this or you can simply type di from your keyboard and then you will get this so all you need is just to make sure that you are getting this vertical uh, blue highlighted line just simply click on that then again click on that then click on that and then here and then you just simply need to click outside the space make sure that you are not highlighting anything you are not highlighting any object or anything you just simply need to click on the blank space and after that you will get this symbol which is a uh, equality constraint so you just simply need to click on that and after that it it will arrange all of these column in equ at equal distance you can see from center to center now let me just press escape and then simply click on that i don't want this so i'll simply click on delete so you see that you are getting a warning it says a dimension that it is going to be deleted it means that you have already deleted the constant uh, would you like to unconstrained these things and you just uh, undo all of the things that you have done no actually we don't want them so i will just simply hit ok now uh, i will just simply copy uh, eight uh, seven more copies of this column in vertical direction this time i will go with this horizontal line one two
now that I have uh, this column here okay so I will just simply select this column and I will make the changes in the dimension now if you look at this column you will see the distance from this uh, this center to this face in 1900 so I just simply click on this one and grab uh, until this and make this one 1900 and then hit enter now I will do the same thing I will use the equality constraint to arrange these column at equal distance so I will just simply type di and then I will click on this horizontal line horizontal line and make sure that uh, you are clicking outside this uh, you are not highlighting anything and then just simply click on empty space after that again you will get this symbol just simply click on that and now all of these columns are equally spaced and arranged now let's press escape and simply select this and then delete this one hit ok again you will get the warning just sim simply click ok now what I will do is I will copy these three column on this side so I will just simply control and hold that control and then select uh, uh, it from my mouse control select control select left click with your mouse and you can just select them simply type CO and then this time I will use this uh, horizontal line to align with this horizontal line with this horizontal line just like that and now that we have successfully modeled our column in this area with the help of equality constraints so if you want to look them in the 3d view you can just simply go to this small house you can see 